The film begins with a father and son arguing in a car stuck in traffic. Suddenly, someone smashes the car door and attacks it with a van. The attacker's appearance is unclear, with a leg resembling an animal. Police take the strange creature into custody, revealing that a disease in the city is causing people to transform into animals. Franskio, one of the car occupants, learns his wife is affected and hospitalized. Despite wanting to care for her at home, doctors recommend she stay in the hospital due to her declining health. When he visits, he sees her animal-like face. Franskio urges his daughter to visit her, but she shows disinterest. He insists she'd be happy to see her and sends her to the hospital. Meanwhile, Franskio learns of a newly built hospital near the hotel he works at. The new hospital, known for its security, is designated to house the transformed individuals. During the night, the sick are being transported to the facility. However, due to chaos, a bus carrying the sick plunges into the water, resulting in deaths and disappearances. Later that night, Franskio's son is startled to see a figure resembling a transformed person outside their window, but upon a second glance, no one is there, leading him to believe it was an illusion. Upon learning of the accident, Franskio rushes to the scene to inquire about his wife, only to be informed by a police officer that she was neither among the dead nor the living, she was missing. The subsequent scene transitions to Franskio's son displaying exceptional strength during a tug-of-war match at school, effortlessly winning for his team in a matter of minutes, unknowingly breaking his nail in the process. Later, his friend invites him to a Friday party, but he declines for undisclosed reasons. Returning home, the son notices his protruding leg bone with apprehension, fearing he may also be transforming into an animal. With trepidation, he attempts to wash away his worries, realizing he is not in a safe haven. Meanwhile, Franskio encounters the same police officer at the supermall, who informs him that his wife is still missing and is not listed among the deceased, reassuring him that the living are being well cared for. Amidst their conversation, a loud commotion erupts in the mall, prompting everyone to rush towards the disturbance. A man claims to have seen a peculiar individual, causing a stir. Franskio pushes through the crowd, hoping to find his wife but instead encounters an octopus-like man attempting to flee upon noticing the police officer. The man throws various objects at the officer, who adeptly apprehends him. Amidst the chaos, Franskio also catches sight of a young girl transformed into a bird. As they exit the mall, the officer questions Franskio about the items he purchased, to which he replies that they are for a cafe visit, concealing his true motive of locating his missing wife. Believing his wife to be lost in the jungle following the accident, Franskio strategically hangs clothing in the forest, as her sense of smell has heightened. Despite government regulations prohibiting the care of afflicted individuals at home, Franskio is determined to look after his wife personally, necessitating the items he acquired. Upon returning home, Franskio informs his son that multiple animal-like beings were spotted at the mall that day, and many individuals have gone missing since the accident. He expresses his concern that their mother may also be among the lost, but reassures his son not to fret, promising that they will venture into the jungle on Friday to search for her. However, Franskio's son had plans to attend a party that Friday, as a girl had invited him. Despite Franskio's reluctance, he allows his son to go, with a reminder to return home before 8 o'clock. The party was lively, but suddenly Franskio's son feels unwell and a girl gives him a tablet. Instead of ingesting it, he licks it like a dog. After this unusual incident, he heads fearlessly into the jungle. Upon waking the next morning, he finds himself in the forest, feeling something stuck in his throat. He hurries home, noticing changes in his lips and complexion. When his father visits him in the bathroom, the son hastily closes the door and retrieves something from his throat, a vomit. Realizing he is also undergoing the transformation into an animal, he accompanies his father and dog to search for his missing mother in the jungle. The son calls out to his mother loudly, but upon finding no one, they grow weary and rest. In the wee hours, the dog begins barking loudly, leading them to discover a person resembling a monkey in a tree. As they investigate, an individual in the shape of an eagle attacks Franskio's daughter. Recognizing that Fransk eagle-shaped person is not a threat to those turning into animals, he still injures Franskio's son. Concerned for his well-being, Franskio rushes his son to the hospital, despite the son's reluctance due to the fear of exposing his transformation into an animal. En route, they encounter the police officer, who inquires about the son's condition. Franskio downplays the situation, claiming his son was merely bitten by a dog. The officer insists they head to the hospital, where army doctors attend to the son's injuries. 
The police officer reveals that the government has enlisted the army to manage the escalating situation of people transforming into animals, highlighting the severity of the issue at hand. Upon arriving home, Franskio and his son encounter some strange behavior as the son unwraps his bandages, exposing his wound and licking it. At school, the son startlingly silences a group of talking rats in the lab by screaming, seemingly communicating with them. Later, the son goes to the river where he eats a raw fish, witnessed by a woman before he quickly flees. In the jungle, he reunites with the eagle-shaped man who seeks help with flying. The son offers a solution by guiding him to a pond where he can practice flying safely without fear of injury. Back at Franskio's restaurant, an animal-shaped assailant targets Franskio, while another fleeting creature, who may have been Franskio's wife, observes the attack before fleeing. Amidst the chaos, the attacking animal emits a loud and unsettling cry, leaving Franskio to ponder the unfolding events and potential connections. Before causing panic among the customers at the hotel, the owner successfully commands the animal to remain quiet, to everyone's surprise. Bound by chains on its paws, the creature is unable to escape back to the jungle and instead approaches the guests. Promptly, the police arrive and apprehend the animal. Franskio accompanies an officer in search of a larger animal in the jungle but only discovers his son's abandoned bicycle. Upon returning home, Franskio finds broken nails in the sink, realizing they belong to his son who is undergoing a transformation into an animal. Subsequently, an incident occurs where one of the son's teeth breaks and falls into a glass, prompting him to seek solace by interacting with the eagle-shaped man who tends to his wounds. Surprised by the developments, Franskio requests to see his son's hands, confirming his suspicions of the transformation. Despite his son's attempts to evade him, Franskio confronts him, acknowledging the changes and expressing concern for his well-being. Desperate for information on the transformations, Franskio's son explains his heightened sense of hearing and peculiar nails. Upon inquiry, he reassures his father that his friends are unaware of his condition. Seeking reassurance, the son questions if his father will continue talking to him after the transformation, reminiscent of how his mother was treated while transforming. Franskio hesitates momentarily before indicating that he cannot predict the future. Subsequently, a party is held at Franskio's restaurant, where his son arrives with noticeably elongated nails. Franskio reprimands his son for not trimming his nails, leading to an emotional outburst from the son who inadvertently harms his father during the altercation. However, in reality, Franskio was attempting to shield his son from the public eye. He even puts scissors to his son's neck, threatening to trim his nails. After the nail-cutting incident, Franskio's son reunites with his friend, and they become closer. The girl touches Franskio's daughter's back, acknowledging the changes happening within her and expressing her acceptance. Meanwhile, another classmate uncovers the truth about Franskio's son and confronts him with a peculiar device that emits a sound unbearable to animals. Prodding and taunting Franskio's son, the classmate reveals his knowledge of the son's secret. Unable to bear the harassment, Franskio's son impulsively slaps the classmate, leaving visible marks on his cheek. The situation escalates, leading to a search for the son by the police and army in the jungle. The eagle-like man, whom the son had helped to fly, assists him in evading the authorities and transports him across a river, only to be shot by the army, resulting in his demise. Alone in the jungle, the son adapts to his surroundings, consuming fruits, and bathing in the river. His physical transformation accelerates, evident by strange marks on his back indicating a rapid change in his body. As he continues his journey through the jungle, he encounters other humanoid creatures resembling animals. Among them, he reunites with his mother, who, though unable to communicate verbally, directs her son towards a cave repeatedly, suggesting it as a safe haven. Noticing various individuals transformed into snakes, monkeys, and a fallen child, Franskio's son navigates through this surreal environment, each encounter underscoring the profound and irreversible alterations happening to both himself and others in this dystopian landscape. Peace reigned in the area until the military disrupted the tranquility by firing smoke, sparking chaos. Employing a specialized device emitting distressing sounds that aggravated both animals and Franskio's daughter, who was also seized by the military. However, the girl, transformed into a cricket, manages to evade capture by concealing herself in a tree. Meanwhile, the police have Franskio's son in the city, and upon encountering the authorities, Franskio identifies his son as the one who ventured into the jungle at night. Although his son still retains a human appearance, his inability to sign a paper leads to a symbolic display of anger, hinting at his ongoing transformation. 
Suspecting the transformation, the police moved to apprehend him, prompting Frankio to intervene by ultimately signing the document presented and whisking his son away. Recognizing the looming danger, the officer, who aided Frankio throughout the movie, becomes wary of the unfolding events, leading to military pursuit. Alarmed, Frankio's son queries his father about potential imprisonment in a health facility, to which Frankio reassures him of their unity. The son reveals seeing a group of animals in the jungle, bringing Frankio solace. Swiftly reaching a decision, Frankio stops the car amidst the jungle and advises his son to go, granting him the freedom to roam the jungle. Instantly, Frankio's son dashes away from the scene. Tears of relief fill Frankio's eyes as he watches his son escape, avoiding government scrutiny. With this emotional resolution, the film concludes, marking the end of the story.